Welcome back or welcome to my channel. So today we're going to be doing my tribal warrior princess makeup look and this is actually a really simple look but the ending result is so beautiful and unique. So yeah, we're already jumping right into it and as far as the eye look goes, it's really simple. You've probably seen it a thousand times already. It's just a cool toned smoky eye. I've already highlighted my brow bone, added my transition shade, I'm deepening up the outer V and I'm adding a metallic shade onto my lid. Doing a wing liner, adding some lashes and that's pretty much going to be about it for the eyes. So I'm just going to let this play out for a little bit and I will check back when we get to the face painting part. Okay, hello! So what I'm doing here, I'm applying the headpiece so I can map out with some concealer to see where I shouldn't be drawing anything. So to begin with the banner under our eyes, I'm just going to be dragging out some gel liner into my hairline. I'm using the top of my ear as like kind of a guide on where to stop the lines and how far to drag them up to. Now this part can be a little time consuming because all the detail work that goes into making the lines as sharp as possible. Just take your time, work slowly, and use small brushes for the detail work. So here I'm using the inner corner as a guide to where I should start bringing out the lines and I'm bringing the point into the middle of my nose. I used some liquid liner to do some major detail work and this actually helped a lot at making the edges really crisp and clean. And the liquid liner was extremely helpful in bringing my nose to a point. And here I'm setting all the black gel with some black eyeshadow and I'll be lining my waterline to fill in the rest of the gaps. Moving on to my forehead, I'm using Jeffree Star's Unicorn Blood Liquid Lipstick here. I'm going to be drawing out the stripes right with the applicator, so that makes it really easy. Um, I wasn't trying to make these super perfect looking. My main focus of the look is the eye banner. I don't really care about how they look shape-wise, but I was trying to make them as solid as possible. Bringing it kind of far into my hairline, just because I wanted it to blend well, I didn't want it to look like it just cut off in a really sharp line.
And here I'm just taking the classic line down my chin and I'm going to be creating some stripes on the sides of my neck. And next I'll be using the NYX white eyeliner and I'll be using this to draw some tribal-esque stripes down my eye. Finishing up the look now by adding some detail with some white and black dots around the eye banner, my eyebrows, the forehead stripes, and my neck. I decided last minute to connect the red line onto my lip and I'm going to blend out the concealer on my forehead and we're going to call this completed. So as you can see, this look is actually pretty badass. I'm absolutely in love with it. I think it looks so beautiful, it's so pretty and so unique. Moving on to the costume details, this is the mohawk feather headdress that I made. The link for the pictorial that I followed on making this is listed down below if you wanted to know how to make it. As far as the head support goes, I did do something a little bit different from their tutorial and I just added two headbands and put them through the feather support and the skull and that's what I personally did to support my headpiece. Now the bra and belt set I got from ravewonderland.com. All the links are down below. Now the feather shoulder pads, they did come with little clips on the back that attached to your clothes, but I ripped them off and I used spirit gum because I didn't have anything to attach them to my costume with. Armbands, bone bracelets, and bone necklace are all from Spirit Halloween. Now the brown maxi skirt, I think I got this from Jean's Warehouse, but I'm sure you can find those at like Walmart or Target. You could even dye them whatever color you want, and yeah. Moving on to the nails and the poly gel bird sculpt. So I did this entire set myself. This is a poly gel set. Now what I did here is I mixed some white acrylic with some clear poly gel and I started to sculpt out the nails. This was actually really easy. It really wasn't that hard. Um, you just have to take your time. All being said, that is the entire look. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye!